This is the Bafang mid-drive motor. It is a 750 watt mid-drive motor. So it means mid-drive, it is mounted at the center of the frame of the bicycle. So as long as you have a 68, PB68 bottom bracket, you can mount this motor because it has different kinds of mount that is available. Um, BB30, you can also mount, but you need a special adapter for it. The regular kit comes with a B68, BB68 crankset. So this is a regular BB68 crankset that has threaded and it was fully replaced during the mid-drive motor installation. This is how I wired the bikes. Some improvement and this is the main cable that is going through the main controller so this is the main controller the Bafang C961 so this is where the LCD so let's turn it on so turn it on this is the knob so this is the control knob you just press it to so turn it on so what you can see in the screen is the battery, the assist level. So it has three level of assist. The speed, the odometer, which is already 308 kilometers and time. And also I installed this throttle just in case uh, I don't need to pedal, okay? So that's the basic of the e-bike. And here you have a wires that has a sensor going to the brake levers. So the brake levers has a special circuit in it that whenever you press the brakes, the motor stops putting power. So same with the other brakes of so both. These are cable pull, so these brakes are still cable. That's why I am installing a cable pull mechanical disc brakes. So these are cable pull mechanical disc brakes. So you can see this is the cable and this is the mechanical disc brake. I recently changed into a full mechanical because the one that I was using the HB10 was overheating on long descents and fluid starts to leak once it is already overheated. So for this setup, I just recently upgraded the brakes. Uh, the disc rotor is operating at 160 mm. And these are Zoom DB690 mechanical disc brakes yep that's one powerful disc brakes uh, as you can see my manito the fork is a manito mark core which has a 20 mm travel so this one is very when i modified it the e-bike became so fun to ride because it no longer it handles bumps well and also I recently upgraded the uh, hub into a sealed bearing previously it was just Shimano formula so that's the basic and I use this fender just to protect the battery from spill if there's water and there's and this is a child seat that was installed because this will be used as a commuter bike. So basic commuter bike. And this is a 16 ampere hour battery which is of 48 volts to powerhouse the 750 watts motor. Okay. So very specific. And whenever you need to convert into an electric bike, the mountain bike you need to consider the triangle size because you need to fit the battery in it and also the cable if this is an external cable so that's why 
my cables are here outside so if you have an internal cabling frame much better but make sure to route the cable so since this is a converted e-bike I am still using the Shimano 10 speed Dior kit so this is a 10 speed Dior kit and the cogs since you don't need enough to climb because the motor is powerful enough for the 36 tooth and this is a operating in a 30, uh, 46 chain ring and also there are options that you can upgrade into 42 much smaller chain ring to lessen the burden of the motor and also the chain is 10 speed so that's how it works okay so that's basically the bike so from the rear I'm still using the zoom so mechanical disc so that's basically the, the build of the bike that's very good enough okay so that's the detailed e-bike specs for this okay so this is the motor the 46 teeth chain ring that is installed Okay.